Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast for today, Tuesday, April 19th, 2016. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. The Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, NCDF, was today the recipient of a donation made to the foundation by the Government of the Republic of China, Taiwan. Taiwan's resident ambassador to St. Kitts and Nevis, His Excellency George Gao Chu, made the official presentation at the Cabinet Secretariat of the Nevis Island administration. Nothing is more important for the preserve and preserve, promote the culture. And today, this morning, I had a great honor to come here because this cooperative project is not just to hand over a simple project. It's try to preserve the soul of the human beings, the soul of the nations. I think this is a very, very important one. And uh, I have the honor with my colleague to witness this uh, the cinema to witness the handover of this uh, fund to the cultural development foundations, and uh, we are coming here to witness the process of this uh, culture development project can be continually to open in the Nevis. Ambassador Chu handed over the 50,000 U.S. dollar check to Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Vance Emery, who accepted on behalf of the NIA and in turn presented it to Minister of Culture, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Mr. Scarborough came to me some time ago and indicated that we had some needs yeah. at the foundation and that he was trying to, to maybe do things a little differently. And rather than simply coming to the government and asking for uh, assistance, he thought that he could reach out to some friends. And he came to me and we gave him uh, the approval, the permission to proceed. And I believe this would not have been possible were it not for his initiative. And I would want to thank him publicly, Mr. Scarborough, um, for that initiative and for, for, for taking um, the, the initiative and making that move to approach our friends uh, from the Republic of China and Taiwan. And thank you, Ambassador Chow, for responding so favorably and so quickly. And I believe all the uh, people who practice uh, the arts and the culture in Nevis will be the beneficiary of this very substantial contribution. Keith Scarborough then accepted the donation as CEO of the NCDF. On behalf of the Nevis Cultural Development Foundation, of course, I would like to express my great, great, great thank you to you and the people of Taiwan for this generous contribution that you've given this morning. I could assure you it will go a long way in assisting us in the further development of the culture here in Nevis and of course to get us some much needed equipment that is desirable for us to continue with our work here. Also witnessing this morning's handing over ceremony were Junior Minister the Honorable Troy Lybird and Cabinet Secretary well, Stedman Trons. The government of the Republic of Cuba has announced the availability of 10 scholarships for citizens of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis to pursue studies in Cuba. There are five scholarships available for studies in medicinal sciences, two scholarships for postgraduate studies in internal medicine, pediatrics, gynecology and obstetrics, general surgery, hygiene and epidemiology, one scholarship for civil engineering and two scholarships for under graduate studies in health technologies. Each applicant is required to submit a certified copy of his or her birth certificate, high school transcripts and a certificate, Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Examination, CAPE transcripts and a certificate, a passport information page, 10 passport-sized photos and immunization card. This is in addition to a police record issued within the last three months and a medical report including a general HIV test, a chest X-ray and, in the case of women, a pregnancy test. Persons desirous of obtaining any of the scholarships can collect application forms from the Nevis Island Administration's Human Resource Management Department at Bath Hotel. Completed applications should be submitted to the department by April 27, 2016. The Ministry of Health has once again improved its offerings of services to the public. The Ministry of Health has acquired the services of the first neurosurgeon from Nevis, Dr. Jeffrey Lybird. It's really been a distinct honor and pleasure to be able to come back home and, and, and really work here. And I 
I want to, to really thank the, 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 the Nevis Island Administration and specifically our minister and the, the, the staff in the Ministry of Health as well as um, our staff here at the hospital in Alexandra. All of these guys have actually been quite, been quite receptive and have actually helped me to, to, to come back to Nevis so that I can, I can actually give back to my people, you know. This is something that I've always wanted to do. Dr. Liebert, who is originally from Rice's Gingerland, but currently resides abroad, is expected to return to the island periodically. For now, I will be back probably every other month. Okay. So until, you know, we, we, we have things set up in a way that we can actually do more things here. Um, we have been able to do one operation so far in Nevis, and I think that is, that is, you know, a real feat here to be able to do, to do neurosurgery at Alexandra Hospital. Right. I think it's, it is a big deal. It is, it is. So you come back every other month for how long? Is it for the whole month when you come well, back? Well, it, it will depend on how many patients I have okay. to see. Okay. And this is something that will be ongoing. Dr. Liebert's services at the Alexandra Hospital is as a result of his partnership with the Ministry of Health. I feel quite proud, Jeffrey, to welcome you back and also to thank you because I think this partnership that we've now forged, yourself and us here in Nevis, uh, would not have been possible without right. for your demonstrated willingness okay. to come home and, as you've said, to contribute. And I'm very, very excited. And I think the Nevisian public mm -hmm. should be excited that we have your skill set now available right. to us and as you've said since you've been here you've actually done i believe our first neurosurgery uh procedure uh, at the alexander hospital so for me that's a major major achievement and a big deal and uh, we get visiting doctors all the uh -huh. time from all over the world i think to get somebody coming home is particularly important. I'm very proud as Minister of Health yes. to have been part of this, uh -huh. ushering in this new service yes. here at the Alexander Hospital. Dr. Jeffrey Liebert and Minister of Health, the Honorable Mark Brantley, will be the guests on next week's edition of Health Matters with host and health educator, Shevani Nesbitt. Still to come. We are organizing a book presentation by leading attorney and Queen's Counsel, Mr. Charles Wilkin, who is presently also president of the St. Kitts and Nevis Bar Association. The details after this break. the old, showcasing the new, Culturama 42. As a responsible citizen, your tax dollars protect our environment. Pay your taxes on time. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. In an effort to promote the literary achievements of local authors, the University of the West Indies UWE Open Campus site will host a book presentation tomorrow evening. The book presentation, another of the UWE Open Campus site's public outreach initiatives, comes ahead of the Saturday, April 23rd observance of World Book and Copyright Day. We are organizing a book presentation by leading attorney and Queen's Counsel, Mr. Charles Wilkin, who is presently also president of the St. Kitts and Nevis Bar Association. He recently published a book, which I have here, Breaking the Cycle, Politics, Constitutional Change and Governance in St. Kitts and Nevis. And this book is a very interesting um, initiative by Mr. Wilkin to look at the constitutional and political history of St. Kitts and Nevis from the pre-statehood pre period to the present time and look at how we've developed politically and constitutionally as we are today 
and look at the challenges we face, the, the constitutional and political challenges we face. Coordinator at the UWE Open Campus Nevis site, Isabel Byron. Byron notes that the aim of World Book and Copyright Day is to pay tribute to books and authors and encourage people to discover the pleasure of reading. It also promotes books as vectors of value and knowledge and tools for dialogue. It's meant to be a discussion. Um, to, to look at some of the issues that he raises, because the book is a very courageous and inspirational book, really seeking to bring about unity. The whole idea is to bring about unity among different political perspectives so that we can have what he calls issue-based politics as opposed to tribal okay. politics. So it's not meant to be uh, a divisive discussion, rather it's meant to be one in which everybody can feel free to express their opinion and look at ways forward as a federation to move towards a more united. Um, the UWE Open Campus site is collaborating with the Navis Public Library Services to host the event. Anastasia Paris is the chief librarian. We are hoping that the general public on a whole will be interested. It will be great for students, um, for business persons out there, lawyers especially, because it really deals with how we are governed, the laws that govern our federation. So that is really important. I think it will be a great discussion. It will, be, it will bring about meaningful discussion for everyone who um, attends the activity. The book presentation by Queen's Council Charles Wilkin will take place at the St. Paul's Anglican School Hall at 7 p.m. tomorrow, Wednesday, April 20th. Copies of his book will also be available for sale. The Small Enterprise Development Unit, SIDU, in collaboration with the Ministry of Finance, held a leather tanning workshop in March 2016. On Thursday, April 14th, the participants got a chance to display the items they created during that 10-day workshop. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Colin Doerr, outlined the objective. But we were quite heartened that there is actually an interest in this area. We know that there are a lot of um, products being made, the drums and so on. Most of those items for the drums had to be imported. And I believe here it is to give us an excellent chance to produce the raw material which we'll need in order to keep that tradition of drumming alive and to revive that old art form of leather tanning. We are hoping that coming out of this workshop, the participants would move on, not just to do the smaller skins as was done in the workshop, that is the skin for the sheep and goat, but to take on the challenge of the cow, the cow skin, so as to make a much thicker, durable leather, and then to move on from there to actually make it a commercial activity whereby we can now produce the leather that we need in Nevis for the various products. Director of CDU, Catherine Forbes, presented the participants, Clyde Otherton, Earl Rollins, Yvonne Rogers, Deborah Griffin, and Shalita James with their certificates of completion and thanked them for taking part in the workshop. I would like to, on behalf of SIDO and the Ministry of Finance, thank the participants for taking part and also to Ms. Christabel Jeffers for imparting to the participants her knowledge, her skills. It was two weeks well spent. I myself participated. Didn't think I would have that the first, but it became so interesting. And I'm sure that when persons realize the outcome of the workshop, I'm sure that later on we might be able to do it for some more persons. One of the participants, Yvonne Rogers, expressed her thanks to those who made the workshop possible. I must say I have to thank you to everybody who made this workshop possible. I really wanted to learn that, that skill, but the time was not right and the most likely the money was not really handed, so I'm very grateful and to everybody who made this workshop possible. The participants made drums and maracas from the skins of sheep and goats. The facilitator of the workshop was Christabel Jeffers. And that brings us to the end of tonight's presentation of the Nevis Newscast. Thank you for viewing. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Good night.
the old, showcasing the new. Culturama 42.